Sex is fun. Hot and kinky. Scary. HIV and STIs. Natural. Sex. 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 MTV asked us to share our experiences. Right. From all around the world. We do it the same way. Yeah. Is it safe? Are we having too much? Or too little? Filmed entirely by us. In our homes. Just look at the camera, please. Say hi. <laughs> In our own words. This is weird. <laughs> sex. 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 My sex life. My sex life. My sex life. And everyone else's. Hopefully my parents don't see this, because I could just imagine what my mom would be thinking right now. I think sex is a, is a very powerful want and need, and it's an integral part of life. That physical connection with a, with a human being is, is something pretty special. The building excitement, like that bit where you're like, oh my god, we're gonna have sex. <laughs> a lot of people are considered sluts if they had too many sexual partners. I've never had sex with a girl. My temptations come in skirts. I prefer having sex with guys. Actually, I am bisexual. I think a lot of people think we're less than sex, like, what do you do? Like, how does it? I'm a virgin because I choose to be a virgin. My first time was quite embarrassing. It was the best experience of my life. To be honest, it was quite quick. When it was done, I was like, oh, that was it? That was what I was going to burn in hell for? It may be hard to believe, but I'm actually a virgin. I think a lot of people have trouble believing that just because of the fact that I hang out with so many different kinds of people. There's my favorite burger place right across the street. I want to wake up inside of your arms. The reason I'm a virgin is just simply because I haven't found somebody that I've been in love with that has been in love with me back. I don't mind being a virgin one bit. I really don't. I'm just kind of waiting for someone that um, I know is the right person. So that's just how I feel about it. Okay, so we're in the car right now. Where are we going, you guys? I saw you at the beach and you walked right by me. I know you. I was about to turn 17, and like, I was like, I really, really, really liked the kid, and like, I just thought that it would like, make him like me too. We did it, and then he just kind of like, didn't kick me out, but like, was kind of like, okay, well, all right, go home. I guess that's the reason why, you know, I don't want it on anything to turn out like that. I don't want to be stuck in a situation where something happens and then they don't want to be with me anymore, I think I'd be really heartbroken and sad because I'm just that type of person. So today I'll give you a little tour of my local area. Let's see how it goes. The first word that comes to my mind when I think about sex is um, HIV and STIs, because that's what most people get from sex. It's the only thing people get from sex over here. This is the whole place. Yeah, behind there you can see the farm, and also around here you can also see the maze. My granny is preparing some supper. Just look at the camera, please. Say hi. Uh, I'm a virgin because I choose to be a virgin. It's by choice. Moral values and principle. I do have a girlfriend, but um, it's kind of long distance because she's still in school, her final year of high school, and I see her after every three months. 
Well, I've never had sex with her because um, she thinks the same way I think we really understand each other. Well, it's not about um, religion or anything else. That, that's why we've never had sex. Well, it's just about what we want. It's about we are sure. We are sure of what we want. I'm really scared uh, about having sex for the first time because of what people say. Others say it's nice, others say it's really painful. So I'm really scared. And I'm really looking forward to it also. I've had 12 sexual partners. I'm not very experienced. Do we count penetration or do we count oral sex? 15 people as of today. Upwards of 20. I don't keep count. That's really none of your business. It's around 40 or 50. I've had quite a few. I've only ever been with my boyfriend. Somewhere in the hundreds. People lie about who they sleep with. Like, you really don't know. I got gangbanged by seven guys in Paris. Welcome to Mexico City. Sex is weird when someone uh, takes it too seriously. Just because we had sex, now we have to get married and we're soulmates and they have this idea of, of us having a family and living together and stuff like that. I think uh, that's creepy. Uh, I think you can love a lot of people at the same time. Every time I go out with a guy, I tell him like, okay, first of all, uh, I can, I will date other people if I want to. I will kiss other people if I want to. I will f have sex with other people if I want to. And if you complain even once, or you cry, or you want to have an argument or something about it, uh, I'm not going to talk to you ever, ever again. And sex is very important. I don't think so. Uh, because when you when you are with somebody that you like and you get naked in the bed, you, you win a lottery. A common problem faced by Jamaican males is attacks on our manliness and egos by females. He's useless in bed. He's a one-minute man. So what we as men have to do is make sure we are always fit, always healthy, because we do not want our name to be broadcast in that negative light. Check out my swimming skills. I'll show you my room now. I have my desk. No funny business. I have a single bed, so no inviting people back. <laughs> if you're not having fun, no matter what kind of sex you enjoy, like if you're not having fun, then what, yeah, yeah what, what are you doing? There's nothing wrong with dating multiple people at once. There's nothing wrong with sleeping with different people. There's nothing wrong with a monogamous relationship. I like being single. I think I've been single more than I've been in a relationship. And I like it, it definitely suits me. I'll meet one guy and be like, oh, yeah, I could be friends with you. I'll meet another guy, oh, I could date you for a bit. Oh, another guy, oh, I could sleep with you. Um, oh, you, oh, I could be your girlfriend. Like, I think it's very different depending on who the person is. <sighs> So it's eight o'clock, and so I'm up now because I have to take my medication by 8.30. For my, for HIV. <sighs> Let's do this every single day. I take these with me, 
to the kitchen, and I don't have to take these with food. So I ate as much as I could. Every morning at 8, pretty much stops, because I have to kind of get prepared to take my medication. A lot of the times, I reflect on what put me in this situation, my reckless behavior, all the, you know, the unprotected sex I've had, and it really hurts. And so every morning is kind of a little quick reminder about those things. Fine.